Hello people. Today we're going to be doing a video on this computer right here. This is an eight this is system actually uh, we built actually. It's an AMD uh, Sempron system. Now originally this had a LGA775 uh, Pentium 4 machine but uh, those boards unfortunately uh, had uh, bad caps on them so uh, was I had a case, a compact S1500, but I didn't like its case because, well, the one thing was I couldn't use a uh, an internal floppy drive. So what I did was I was I had my XP machine in here, my Core 2 Duo one, but I since have moved it into that case over there. I decided to uh, use this case to uh, put my to put the sample and stuff into. And so, and this is my Windows 2000 computer. This is my Windows 2000 computer. So, specs uh, has a two gigahertz uh, Sempron, has uh, a gig of RAM, has two hard drives, has a 40 gig and an 80 gig, both are Western Digital Protege drives. It has a radio, it has an NVIDIA GeForce 4 MX440. And it has Windows 2000 Professional on it. So, yeah, so, yeah. So in the front, we have an LG uh, DVD burner. You know, which I had in here for a long time, actually. And we have an LG CD burner, which actually came with a case this drive I put in myself. Originally, there was a CD w right here, and, and there was a zip drive here. Two extra drive blanks. We have a internal three and a half inch floppy drive and a card reader which came up a case now in the uh, 1500 that was in here before it had a card reader in it we have uh, AMD uh, Sempron a sticker design for Windows XP Windows 2000 uh, CNJ that's actually the original system builder that built the Pentium 4 machine that was in here before and here we have two USB ports, two USB 2.0s, and a headphone and microphone. So, uh, there's the Windows XP professional key, which is not what's on here. It has two. So, in the back we have the power supply. We have PS2 keyboard and mouse. A serial, a parallel. VGA, four USB ports, 1394 Firewire, Ethernet, we have a video card as with VGA and S video and the sound card. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my screwdriver open and then we'll take a look at the inside. Alright, so taking a look at the inside, we have a 250 watt uh, Dell power supply which came from a dead Dell Dimension 2400. We have a Noctua NFS 12 120mm fan. Up on motherboard is an Asus A7V8XLA from a Compact Presario SR1500NX. We have the two optical drives there, the CPU which is an AMD Sempron 3000 Plus at 2GHz. Yeah I know it's a Sempron but all I want on here is Windows 2000 so it's fine. We have a gig of RAM, we have one gigabyte of RAM, the NVIDIA GeForce 4 MX440, and the uh, ESS sound card. We have the, uh, we have floppy, we have floppy, and the card reader. And there's the two hard drives, which one of them's a uh, 40 gigabyte Western Digital, which is the boot drive, and the other's an 80 gigabyte Western Digital, which is the uh, games drive, so. Yeah, it's actually yeah. So it's actually this case is so much better than uh, the one that this stuff was in original. We just a lot easier to work with. So uh, a lot easier to work with, and it's not very cramped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Close it up, I'll go and 
quiz was open, I'll screw it back in and then we'll uh, we'll boot it up over there. So be right back. Alright, this is where I usually have the computer with my uh, penny and pull machine on top of it. It's also where I have my Windows XP machine and my Windows 98 machine. So I actually have it over here now. So let's go ahead and boot it up. So we're gonna go, let's go ahead and go into the BIOS here. Let me turn the, uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go, let me go ahead and turn the right off real quick. Alrighty, I got you guys up on the tripod. So, so we have the, uh, the DVD, we have the DVD burner, the CD burner, the two hard drives. We have the floppy, we have a gig of RAM, there's the sample and 3000 plus, and plug and play OS. How do I monitor, which it's actually a really good temperature, and I have the, like I said, the, NSF, the NFS 12 in there, so AC power failure on, Bruton diagnostic screen, which is the, uh, you know, the uh, which turns off the uh, full screen logo, so. So let's go ahead and reset this thing. We'll boot into our windows. So, so it's running Windows 2000 Professional. Which I won Windows 2000 on it because of the sample and, and uh, already have a, already have a, already have enough computers running Windows XP like I have uh, my Windows I have my Core 2 Duo and my Pentium 4 machine they're running XP I have my Compact Pacelli Elite 5000 I have, I have enough computers with XP on them so since XP doesn't run well on this machine I thought why not put Windows 2000 on it instead. Control three, two, one, on. Let me see if I can fix that for you guys. Hold on. For you guys, hold on. Yeah, I think that should be better. So, uh, so if we go into my computer, we have a Sephon 3000 Plus, a gig of RAM. So, we're going to Device Manager. We have the two hard drives there, and then you move the card reader there. GeForce 4 MX440. We have the two optical drives, and the uh, the Damien Tools CD, the uh, virtual drive, floppy, the Ethernet adapter. <laughs> it's detecting my uh, mouse, kind of interesting. And the uh, ESS Maestro 3. So, so what do we have on here? Let's take a look. So, we have we have seven zip, Internet Explorer six, Outlook Express six, Windows Media Player nine. I also have Legacy Update going. Adobe Reader 9, I don't know if I mentioned, but we do have Windows Media Player 9, Firefox, which is Firefox 12, Opera, it's an old version of Opera, the Microsoft Mouse stuff, I do have a Microsoft. I don't know that. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. We have the Silverlight, which is discontinued, 
PZIP, the Novell Logon, uh, VLC Media Player, we have Office 2002, otherwise known as Office XP. We'll demonstrate that with Word. You can see this. This is uh, Word 2002. <laughs> and there's, and there's Quippy. <laughs> Anyways, we have Project 64, CPU Z. We'll take a look at that. Which is the set form, which is a button one. There's the motherboard. Oh, yeah, it is an ace, it is an Asus in disguise. So, actually, what should we call it? Actually, HP calls it Q Q root. Has a VIA chipset on it. Giga RAM. So, we have iTunes and QuickTime. So what do we got in terms of games on here? So we have uh, we have Local Motion on here, Need for Speed 2, 3, Porsche Unleashed. We have Battlefield Vietnam, Battlefield 1942, Battlefield Vietnam, Medal of Honor Light Assault, Medal of Honor Pacific Assault, and Battlefield 1942 Pro to Rome. We have Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. We have GTA, the original GTA 2, GTA 3, GTA Vice City, Max Payne 2. We have Unreal and Unreal Tournament, we'll probably play that in a second. Quake 2 has World the Game of Life and Soy. Quake 3 Arena, StarCraft, uh, Microsoft game, Midtown Madness, Mother Cross Madness, Revenge of Arcade. Midtown Madness 2, Mother Claus Madness 2, A Bridge to Far, Halo, Far Cry, the original Far Cry, Monsters Incorporated, Pinball Panic, Zuma Deluxe, and Two Rock Two Seeds of Evil. So, I think let's play, we'll, we'll do, well, let's play, let's, let's play Quake 3 Arena. Yep, that game's in there already. So, Play Quick Free Arena. And we'll, we'll do a team death match. for speed for me.
We'll do a waste and then we'll call it for the video. enough of that. I think I should probably call it for a video because I'm not sure how much time I have left on my battery so I can take the, uh, take the, the scalp. We'll go and shut this thing down. So. Uh, shut down. There we go, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another NBA uh, in me next video. So take care of you guys.